Hey everybody, how's it going? JJ55 here, playing some Trove. It's currently in open beta for the PS4 and Xbox One. I do not know if it's on PC or not. But I'm just going to try this game out. It's in open beta. And ho hopefully when the full game comes out, it'll be a platinum trophy for this. Either way, I'll still play because it's actually fun. Alright, so this game is it's like a typical MMO. You fight monsters, you kill them too. But it has like a little bit of a twist to it. It actually has some Minecraft aspects to it. And I will show you guys that in a little bit. So right now, I, I was just like running around with my mount, which is like a horse. You run like a little bit faster. There's different mounts on here. I'm not too sure how many because I just started this game. But a little mount, of course, it helps you go faster. And it's jumping right now. Just trying to kill these enemies because before, before I was originally recording this, it didn't save all the footage. So I was upset. So now I have to redo this. You guys don't get to see the beginning. I do apologize for that. Alright, so right now I'm going right back down. Probably gonna just gonna show off the little Minecraft aspect of this game. As you can see right here, the little house you can build. You can't you can't build on top of other people's because that's their own personal house. You can't do anything to it unless they got rid of it. And right now I'm in the build mode, so I can't attack on your build stuff. You just break it here. So yes, yeah, so you can just build and break stuff to help you find some some stuff you need ores diamonds whatever help you build a house on here and right now I'm just try to go all the way down just to see how the hole is and stu stupidly enough I kind of got stuck there but luckily I got out magically so right now it's going right off to a horse go right off to the ne never ever land and that little this little thing behind me is like a little it's like a little pet that just follows me. And right now I'm going to be teleporting back. This is where like the world is, main world. So you get to see all these tons of people here. It's actually quite a lot. And I'm actually impressed that the loading time is not affected by this. It probably will be when like more people play. But so far in open beta phase, it's actually really good. And I do enjoy it. And so right now I'm about to show you guys the characters you can choose from on here. It's probably it's a lot of characters on here because I couldn't record it first when I first wanted to record it. it didn't work out. All right, so this is the menu here. You can look at the gifts stuff. This is like the classes here. You can only pick like one class, I believe, and then the rest you gotta buy slots for it. For it, so it's about I think like twelve classes or six. I'm not too sure. I didn't. I kind of forgot to count. Well, there's a whole lot of classes on here, and it sucks that they limit you like this, but it's going to be a free-to-play game. It's going to have microtransactions. I didn't expect them to have it with the characters. Hopefully, during the full game, when it comes out, it's not like this, or it's like some way you can have multiple characters, maybe up to three characters, and then just, if you want to get more characters, you got to probably buy some, and then... And then you, I mean, buy the slots and then you'll be able to get them like in Warframe. But not just like yet to actually buy the characters, buy the characters limited to, to one. So hopefully that changes. And right now, just showing off this little world, the PvP on here, which I'm not even anywhere near that good level for it. So right now, I got to tell you there is the inventory is also guild, uh, guild sorry, just so many MMOs I played like that. There's also clubs on here you can check out. And what a club is, it's just, it's like a whole group of, like basically a clan you can have on here. And so right now, I'm just showing off the the inventory slots for your weapons and your mounts. You can actually change the name of them. Doesn't really make that much of a difference, but you can if you want. And just like I was talking before about the clubs, this is how the club was. I don't know if... It has different channels for it, like group one, group two, group three, group four. Maybe you can join multiple different groups or clubs. I have no idea. But right now, I'm going to go right back into the world I was at. You can't miss it. It's like as soon as you spawn in, it's like right, directly right in front of you or to your left. I'm not exactly, I don't remember too much of exactly how you first spawn in. So right now, I'm back to to the next world, it's not the world I was in before, it's the next world over. And now I'm gonna go build a house and go fight, gonna go right into the dungeons because of course in the top right of the screen, they're telling me to. 
one thing I find annoying about this game is that when you look into the map and you actually want to just zoom in over just whoever on whatever you want on the map, you can't do it. It just automatically just closes the map, which sucks. And right here is like the little house I'll show you guys about that you can make on here. And this is what you can do. You can build it. You can probably do much more with it, but I'm not too sure because I didn't spend that much time on there. I only played this game like for a short amount of time, and I automatically love it. So I'm just gonna just fill up these little holes right here. And also, once you build your house, I forgot exactly what it's called on here. I'm sorry. It's like the little pot right here. It's a rejuvenation station. So it's like you have like uh, eight potions, I believe, or seven in your inventory at the bottom right there. A little red, red bottle right there. You can just it gives you health. And then once you run out, you can just refill it, and yeah, it actually works out just for that. So you don't have to buy potions. You can also group up on here with friends. I'm not too exactly sure how many friends on here. Because I just started the game, like I said. And there's probably just some other different powers on here. Different classes you could heal. Like a healing class. I picked up Black Mage class. Because I just like to have the mages on here. I like to have powers to heal stuff. Alright, so now I'm just in this dungeon just fighting off these monsters. They're not really hard at all. You can just solo these dungeons. I wouldn't really recommend it because at times there's going to be some hard dungeons you got to group up. And I'm trying to collect this loot, which is a little bit difficult because you got to be in the right position in order to get it. So it has a little um, barrier up, so I guess to take less damage or magical damage. And now I can finally pick up the, the little loot that I've been trying to get for the longest. And I'm just going to search everywhere to see any more loot. Now I could just go downstairs or it's like a little portal that op opens up and just teleport me to like the last part of the dungeon Which you know, it's it's fun kind of defeats the whole aspect part of it going in a dungeon and just searching around there But it was just up down the stairs not that much different and I just kill like the big iron monster that was down there already really fast so I'm just gonna scavenge around this little dungeon and those little spike Spikes right there actually will kill you, so you don't stand. Don't try not to stand there for too long. And so after I got all this, I'm just gonna head right back out. So that's all I'm gonna go to show you guys now for this part. I just I just want to give you like the first look for it. This game is called Trove. is free to play game for the PS4 and Xbox One, so you're not losing anything, and it's like fun for all ages. Like so, I expect some little kids to be playing on this. It's a nice, it's a nice free game. It, it appeals to all ages and like different portals. I forgot it's like different portals, different levels. For on here, there is gonna be some flaws already I can see in this game, but it's an open beta, so I'm not gonna be too judgmental about it. I'll probably do like another video saying saying how I exactly feel about the game, and if I do some live streaming for this and get and finally get back on Twitch. And yeah. So that is it for this video guys. Thank you guys for watching. Please like, comment, subscribe, like me on Facebook, follow me on Twitch, and just mess around with this guy right here. So on and so forth. So until next time, stay safe and happy gaming.